Hello and welcome to Blame It on the Draws. I'm going to show you guys a deck profile on a piece of shit of a deck that I don't give a fuck about and you guys do give a fuck about. So I'm giving you guys a fucking shit already. So the first things first for this deck profile is going to be, of course, Galaxy Eyes, phone, uh, Galaxy, uh, f Galaxy, a fucking shit, I can't even say the goddamn word. Motherfucker, I can't even say, okay. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Of course, as you can see, the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is a really needed card. It's the whole deck is about him. So uh, if you do not run at least three of him, then what the fuck is wrong with you? Where you're looking at this deck profile and go fuck yourself. And now let's go for the other level eight monsters. We're running three Galaxy Knights. Uh, Galaxy Knights, of course, what he does is normal. You can special summon a Galaxy Eyes monster. Uh, I think it's Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I don't know. And then you can just uh, normal summon him without. Uh, attributing and he only has 2,000 attack and uh, blah 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 combo maker and you can XYZ and then you have the Galaxy Eyes Brave there's nothing brave about him it's just basically show reveal and whatever galaxy or photon you reveal he gets the same level and he special summons so he's a really good for uh, ranking up as well and now we're gonna go for the stereotypical one that everyone uses for even decks that have nothing to do with Galaxy Eyes is Galaxy Soldier Galaxy Soldier is a great card. Of course, you can just discard a card and special summon him and then search any galaxy monster from your deck to your hand. And of course, most people just summon him and just summon another one so you can get a, something like Cypher, um, uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity. But uh, fuck Cyber Dragon Infinity and fuck you and fuck me and fuck everything I exist in this fucking world. And now we're gonna go with Photon Orbital. Photon Orbital. Really good, expensive, expensive indeed. Then we have three vanishers. It actually does nothing about vanishing except when you use it as an next raising material. And once you destroy something by battle when he's in, in, as a material, that monster can just banish that card instead or some shit like that. Or if you negate it, destroy it. I don't even know anymore. The point is he special summons if there's a galaxy and you can just add galaxy eyes photon dragon from your deck to your hand. And then we have two galaxy wizards. Only two because this motherfucker he requires to be normal summoned and he she it can't be searched so uh it's a piece of shit but it can search any galaxy or photon card and now we have two advancers basically being thrasher but i think a little bit better and uh thrasher of course being the one that special summon if there's nothing that you control uh cleric of course is going to be recycling everything let me put this over here and then last but not least my secret tech is me using guardian of order you can only control one of them and he can special summon if you control two light monsters on the field which is 1000 percent guaranteed you can have light because if you didn't notice a little shit, every single card in here is light and for the spells we have three galaxy sp oh my fucking god do i really have one that's different fucking shit. Three Galaxy Expeditions. Uh, Galaxy Expeditions, what it does, target one level five or higher Galaxy Eyes or Photon monster on the field. You special summon one Galaxy Eyes or Photon from your deck. That's uh, level five or higher. Then you have Trade In. Of course, people know what Trade In does. Trade In is just straight up you trade. You just uh, send level eight, draw two cards. Then we have Photon Sanctuary. I only run two because I don't have the budget for another one. If I find you want to run another one, to just take Gal Galaxy Cleric out of the fucking deck. And that is it. You could just add another one, just like that. Don't fucking ask me. Should I run three? Uh, don't fucking ask me that. You you should run three, you little shit. Whatever. And then you have two Galaxy. Uh, uh, what the fuck is this shit? Uh, Galaxy Trance. Uh, Galaxy Trance, what it does is target one uh, Galaxy. Uh, no, I think it's Photon. I think it's just Galaxy. One yeah, Target one Photon monster in your grave. And then you can special summon it by paying 2,000 life points. And special summon one Galaxy Eyes monster from your deck. Of course, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons counts as Galaxy and Photon. And it's a dragon. I don't know, it has nothing to do with the effect itself. Excel Light only run one because it's basically full time Thrasher, but for the first turn, you can special summon one level four um, Galaxy Monster from your deck. Then you have your generic uh, Warrior Searcher, which is obviously reinforcement of the army. And then you have your special generic uh, because you run a lot of times the links. It's uh, World Legacy Succession. If I could run more, I would run more, but it's slow as fuck. And then one Monster Reborn because if no one knows what the fuck is Monster Reborn, I'm gonna repeat myself one last time. You should go family to stop playing this game. All right, now let's go for the traps. Only two traps Galaxy Tachyon Transmigration. Tachyon Transmigration. Why didn't they name it? Galaxy or Photon. It is unsearchable, unrecyclable, it is a piece of shit. But it actually is really good because you can activate it from your hand if you have a Tachyon monster on the field. You can just activate it as counter trap and it negates anything and you can just shuffle it back into your deck. And that's pretty cool. 
And then for the extra deck. For the extra deck, we run the same, same stereotypical Galaxy cards that every other generic rank 8 deck does use, which is Galaxy Eyes Full Armor, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade, uh, Number, whatever the hell this one, which is Tachyon. Uh, whoops, not that one. It's uh, two of these, of course, because it, it, it searches one, adds to your hand, and negates. And uh, if I had Cypher, I would put him in here, but Cypher is goddamn expensive for no goddamn reason. And now we're going to give you guys for the rest of the rank eights. It's uh, this one, Hope Harbinger, negating spells, and of course, Dragulon. Now, to give you a context of what this does, basically destroys one face up uh, card on the field, destroys anything on the field, uh, negates everything in the battle phase, and only uses for attacking and trash negation because there's nothing else to use it for. Uh, gives you a Galaxy Eyes monster from your Galaxy monster from your deck to your hand or photon, I think. And uh, you just basically negate a monster if you detach it was a galaxy and, or a photon monster, you could destroy it and, and, as well. This one is uh, your opponent targets uh, for a battle, you can detach and it battles this one instead. And if another rank monster dies, it gains that attack um, for I think it's like two turns or some shit like that. And uh, of course you have this one, special summoning. Uh, something for example like uh, two uh, number dragon monsters that are... Um, in your extra deck and you can uh, detach one material and special summon it one on top of the other that has to be as material and that's how that works and that's really broken and you can't target him with card effects so that's kind of retarded and now you have uh, of course uh, infinity everyone knows what infinity does everyone knows what the fuck that shit does and then you have star liege the original star liege it's just basically special summon a galaxy eyes full time dragon from your hand and then you have of course numeron numeron's your otk you can make it up to 9000 attack with that easy peasy shit and you have uh, of course if it's not enough otk just use a boral sword in there and if you're asking yourself how the fuck am i gonna summon this well just in case you run three of the galaxy soul flare dragon soul flare dragon activating its effect by you during your opponent's main phase you can just send one galaxy or photon monster card from your hand to the grave i let me clarify that card you can send it from your hand to the grave and you can destroy one monster and that's about it. And then if you don't know what the fuck Boral Sword does and you're asking yourself, I don't have the budget for Boral Sword, guys, help me out. I need <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,